and you, and you, deal, with that. you deal with that in this movie, get him to the Greek. You deal with that yeah. subject so carefully and thoughtfully. Oh, thought. wicked. Well, that's, you know, yeah. obviously, yeah, Nick Stolo, who wrote the movie and directed it, he's a very, very brilliant man, but not a heroin addict, so... Do you have <laughs> tips for people who who are have these competing things on how to, how to uh, be more successful in your career? Well, if everyone, anyone's got addiction problems, then I would suggest that if it's uh, troubling you, one day at a time, try not to take drugs. And there are uh, support groups for these kind of things. If you're taking drugs and you're enjoying it, congratulations. Well done. <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> As you were. Right. Now, your your girlfriend is Katy Perry still, she right? Is. Yeah, she still is. She yeah. still is. And that's it's, still, she's pretty hot. And you, yeah. you guys are happy and fun. I love her. She's really great. Yeah. yeah. And is... And sh What's happening with her career? Like, to, for both of you to have these massive careers, is it uh, is it difficult to be like? I always wonder about these show business couples. They're in the tabloids, and they both have careers, and it sometimes seems hard for them to stay together. How do you guys handle? It? Because right, that stuff is a bit is exciting. And when you sort of first when I first met her, it was like, wow, yeah, she's a pop star. But after a while, people people are just people, aren't they? Yeah. And all that ephemeral stuff is meaningless so it's just like as long as i'm getting on with her and we're honest with each other and chat to each other all that stuff's meaningless and we're just like you know sort of two people i'm quite old-fashioned i prefer she didn't have a job and stayed at home and looked after our children we don't have any children yet but i do put the cat in a jacket <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gotta know if she's ready for the gig I just yeah. put the cat in a jacket and say how does this make you feel she called the police yeah <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't mind that your character is a bigger star. Yeah, I think she recognises that in the real world, that is not the case. Yeah. In, in, in the fictional <laughs> world, I'm a bigger star. Okay. This character uh, was invented, uh, was it created in the movie Forgetting Sarah Marshall? Or yeah. did it exist before that? Well, what happened was, mate, is I went to the audition for Forgetting Sarah Marshall, uh, Jason Siegel's movie that Nick Stoller also directed, and the part was for a British author, like a nerdy Hugh Grant writer type character. And I went to the audition... And they said, oh, no, he won't be happy, a nerdy writer. Look at him. Let's make the character a rock star. So that's either a massive uh, endorsement of my personality yeah. or a condemnation of my ability to act. <laughs> <laughs> Your choice. You got it. A traffic light happened then. What does that mean? That means Train's we coming. have two minutes. Oh, yeah. Two more minutes. That's not enough. Brain. We've got yeah. so much to give. But I wanted to ask you, you Russell. You get more for that than a nuclear warning. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Before you decided to put career first and you were concentrating more on heroin, yes, is sir. it true you got arrested 11 times? Yes, I did get arrested 11 times. I was always getting in trouble with the police. A lot of it was because of drug addiction, but then there was a lot of secondary problems, stealing things, Stripping in public. <laughs> uh, that was the problem. Do you yeah. have like a favorite mugshot? I mean, the, the smoking gun puts celebrity mugshots up. They could do a whole, a whole, uh, a whole kind of a, a, a coffee gallery. table photo book. A montage yeah, of be, you. Yeah, a montage of mugshots. Oh, yeah. that's nice. That could be a good album name, right? Montage of mugshots <laughs> by Russell Brand, and then just sounds of doors being slammed. I don't know. Furry walls is better. Furry walls is a good uh, name for. Uh, I, love, I love how you call those things secondary things. Secondary. In public because they happen because of the drugs. Yeah, yeah I've, since I've stopped taking drugs, I've not stripped naked in public even once. Who knew? Who knew they were connected? <laughs> At the time, I thought this is unrelated behaviour. <laughs> I just fancy a quick strip. I used to get arrested a lot of protests, you know, sort of like anti capitalist sort of things, I used to go to them, and I thought these bloody capitalists, what they need is some more nudity in their lives. <laughs> That'll snap them out of and, it. And you perform for Queen Elizabeth, right? Yeah. You're probably the most arrested person ever to do a royal performance. Hang on a minute, I might be. That should be <laughs> written down somewhere. Shouldn't it in a book? <laughs> well, can you you guys says, all, you've got why don't you tweet that thing? on the way out? I'm the most arrested... Hey, hold on. I'm the most arrested person ever to perform before Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of England and all her colonies. They usually don't let people like you get that close or in the same room. Yes, yes. Oh, that was my chance. <laughs> <laughs> I could have overthrown her there and then. I should have kicked that shiny hat right off her head and assumed control of the country. Right, it's me now. I'm your queen. Now put your cats in jackets and sit on your settees. You have also been oh. fired, uh, by, well, suspended by the BBC. Yeah, yeah. Like when you're at school suspended. Like, you know, when you get in trouble yeah. at school, they go, right, you've been not coming to school. Take the rest of the week off and think about it. I was going to do that anyway. <laughs> 
How long? Thanks. It wasn't much of a suspension then. It was just a, a I resigned. Wrist slap. What did you do? <laughs> I caused a lot of trouble with naughtiness. I, when I was a single man, I was very, very keen on sex. I slept with this dance troupe called the Satanic Sluts. One of that dance troupe's granddad was in an English sitcom called Forty Towers. Me and my mate rang up that granddad live on air and made some jokes on his answer phone that were insensitive. <laughs> yeah. That's official work. It's yeah, insensitive. I didn't yeah, know. No. I thought they was funny. <laughs> but it turns out inssensitive sure. is what they was. Thin line between funny and It's a thin, sexy little line yeah, between right funny and... Crack of the girls. <laughs> yeah. That's where I keep it. <laughs> Russell Brand tonight at the Moor at 8 o'clock. It is a pleasure to the meet Moore you. The Moor Theatre. Uh, I don't want to leave. You can come. You can I'm all come I'm to the coming. gig if you want. You come in, mate. Oh, wait, we have to come. I'd love to come. Tonight at 8 o'clock, can we come? Yeah, do definitely. You know? Come for free. You don't even have to pay. Uh, you're worth every penny. Do, I'll pay twice. Do you oh, know that good. Do you know people that can get us in? Yeah, Dan. Dan's in charge. Dan. He's looking at him. He's already, he's already Dan putting Wiener. us on the list. Dan, we're coming. We're on a list. This yeah, come. Good. Then afterwards, we can talk to each other in a corridor. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. You talk in the uh, corridor. Yeah, you do. You really do. You'll feel be in moment. the corridor. Oh, the glamour. We're backstage. <laughs> There's nothing to do. Tonight at the Moor at 8 o'clock, we have two pairs of tickets to give away to see Russell Brand tonight. 1-800-252-1025. Would you like to make people do something for the tickets or answer a question or something? Give up your drugs and win a ticket to the show. <laughs> come clean or don't come. <laughs> okay, yeah, come. Yeah. No, you don't have to come clean because otherwise no one would come with day. This is Seattle. Enough. Fair enough. Not, no, you've, got, you've got to understand your market. Yeah. one 800 1025 Caller number 10 and caller number 11. The question should simply be, why? Why the person are you coming? that correctly. <laughs> right, we'll, why? We'll put them on the air, Eric. Just start with caller number 10. You want to hear the answer? Yes. Or you got to go? Gotta, oh, why I'm, have I I'm getting go? death lasers. Death lasers? Death lasers. Oh, Use your urine against the death lasers, Spike. God gave you this talent. Piddle them away. Piddle us to freedom, Spike. Also works on jellies that fish stings. All right. Mm. Russell, it's very, very nice to meet Thank you. Thank you. I like it here in your radio show. Uh, Cheers. You your me. entourage can take you now. This is great. It's going to be a bigger entourage next time. You think so? So yeah. please stop in. Oh, wicked. Please right. remember where we are. All right, mate. Nice. All right. Sharon is calling number 10. Sharon, you can win the tickets. You just have to answer one question. Why? Why, Why Sharon? Why? Why? Because I love you. Because she loves you. She's in, he said. All right, hang on. Jeff and Banger, caller number 11. Uh, you have to answer one question. Why? <laughs> Jeff, it's not that hard. Uh, Why? Yes. Yes, he said. <laughs> Yes, no, he can come. He can come. <laughs> Hang on. He's got hope. He's not 